Greetings, Jedi traders. David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the daily trend for week eight, day four. It is February 23rd, 2017. As always, please seek financial advisor when trading with your money as these videos are for educational purposes only to support your knowledge in the market. See what's going through my head on any given day. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan and always manage your stop when placing a trade. All right, Jedi traders. <clears throat> If this is your first time joining us, welcome. We're going to run through the markets, key future uh, indices and markets that we watch each day in the trading room. Here we go. Taking a look at today, giving it that tag, the record high. There it is. Once again, three. That's right. Tag it. Three out of the four days as Monday was a holiday. Might as well go for four out of four as markets rallied up, but... Not able to hold up at the highs today, and we pulled back. That's right, pulling back. All right, let's take a look at the pre-market trend here this morning as the current price uh, 15 minutes prior, looking at 53.56, pushing that Globex high even as the market continued to move. Yeah, that was the big picture there as price action prior to the open. That nah, couldn't be that way. We weren't going to stay that way on the GC yen and euro. Together with the indices rallying up, just wasn't going to play itself out like that and sure enough market post one and a half hours there was the nq to the downside together with the ym and es dragging out so when you're looking at all the indices here together with some key markets and they're all running the same direction uh not likely that they're all going to continue in the same direction as well all right so nq was 53.56 pushing up uptrend uptrend on the pre-market and there it was 53.12 all the way downside, the level we were looking at. Sure enough, that's where we got today. Let's go ahead and uh, look at where price action was. There she was, price action to the upside. NQ holding up there this morning together, looking for that 53.90, but downside 53.41 was more uh, likely once price action continued downside, 53.51. So there were the levels to the downside on the NQ this morning, 53.12.50. That was the first, or that was probably the lowest level I was looking at as posted here, 53.12 on the charts. All right, uh, ES, we were looking at 23.64.75. Again, uptrend, uptrend, everything above VWAP. We were looking at 23.55 downside. And guess where we went, Jedi Traders? That's right, we did get down at 23.55. Where was that sitting? That was sitting right down here, not on the Ranko. 50 40 but more so on the 15 minute chart there it was 15 minute chart 2355 let me put up those mml charts as we saw today nq there was the nq at pre-session holding at the highs and bang there it was 531250 nice move yes yeah, same picture all the way up high pushing those highs you're thinking yeah we're going higher remember global session never indicative of where we're headed the next day Price action all the way down, 23.55. Nice move on the ES as it regained some traction upside. All right, so that was our big pick. Again, posted here 15 minutes prior to each day's session. As we rolled into today on the uh, market, again, AM session self, as we'll see here, NQ leading downside with the ES. Very minimal action there on the YM today. Mid-session pullback all the way up. Pretty much VWAP aligned in the sand. VIX closing out 1171 with the core sector list. Majority in the red. All right. Uh, really a picture of perfect uh, management here on the charts today as the NQ really getting ourselves going here, followed by the ES on post 45 minutes. Price action continues to move down again. Trade management, looking for the highest probability setup to the downside. Once price action continues to run, all we're looking for is where to place that swing stop. That swing size stop where price action, regardless if you have a moving average or not, it's all about the swing high stop all the way down. All right, and that's exactly what we got there on the NQ as the NQ continued to ride down. Pre-euro close, it's, again, each swing high offering an opportunity to place a stop. Now, at what point do you give up? What point do you bail? Well, what we were looking at on the NQ was the 53.12.50 as posted in as price action continued to blow through the levels on the 50 minute. 53.12 on the reset here, 
But the bigger picture, 100 tick charts, 53, 12, 50, 60 minute chart, 53, 1250 plus the AD line, the advances decliners, I'll show you here in a little bit, also was pushing down to its outlier negative 70. Great place to exit the trade on the NQ for at least, at least a 120 tick run there from the move from the upside. And so NQ, nice move all the way down. All right, how do the other markets do? Uh, well, ES again, big picture overnight. Globex to the upside, pulls back. And price action down post 45 minutes, continues to post one and a half hours downside together with the YM crawling downwards. And the ES, there it is, pre-euro close as price action offers another opportunity to move the stop down, watching the MML levels. And there it is on the euro close. ES gets a nice bounce. Blank canvas for the right in the afternoon, not knowing where exactly where we're going, but that's okay as long as your trade management is in play. Nice move off the bottom as the bond market ended up closing out and holding above VWAP. Hey guys, YM was pretty much a chop session inside the Globex there. Nice move to the upside, pre-downside, Globex low and back upside, breaking above the VWAP. So giving you a couple opportunities in both directions. All right, finishing out the day was the ES with the blank canvas. There it was pretty much chop in the afternoon, offering a couple opportunities, both up and down, but... There was nice price movement in the morning up to the mid-session, back upside, pretty much closing out downside. So we'll go with the downtrend today, but making up some major territory back to the upside on the ES. NQ chopping up the afternoon, holding to the VWAP, 51.44, closing in. That was their major move. Walk away, guys. Get a nice move in the AM session. Why sit in the chop in the afternoon? YM full session again. We saw that Globex, Globex, but uh, pretty much finishing downside right 801, right at 803, pretty close. And GC, nice move on the GC upside here. It's price action held upside overnight. Market open, gave you another couple opportunities to the upside. All right, let's take a look at the um, wrong chart. Here we go. Let's take a look at the daily gaps. Is price action. Uh, Making those all-time highs, giving those uh, tags, but we weren't able. Why am the only one holding above? ES closes below and NQ closes way below, tagging out 53.26.50 on the open gap from four days prior. All right, AD lines, look at that. There was the AD line on the NQ all the way down to negative 70. So combine that, combine that with the chart. Let me pull it up again here for you. And then Q, MML. There you go, all the way down, 53, 12, 50. Same timing there around the 11, 11, 15 hour as price action, there it was. AD line all the way down to the negative 70 outlier. When you get numbers pushing this far, you got yourself a nice level of resistance and great, great opportunity to bail on that nice long trade. All right, let's take a look at some of the key charts here. Take a look at the crude as crude... Uh, had a nice move, Globex uh, overnight, and bang, crude build today. Price action uh, coming down a little bit. Not much action on the crude today, but again, uh, we got a little bit of a pullback here. So looking at the open gaps on the crude, let's pull up the open gaps. There it is, 55.41 or 53.94. Well, I'm going to have to go with the 53.94 at this point on the Globex. The price action holds downside. Currently, momentum is driving down. All right, taking a look at the GC, we already saw that. Again, 6 yen here, price action, nice move on the Globex. Uh, a little bit choppy, but there it is, pre-market. Nice lift up, holding above 51.44. As we saw in the picture prior, that's right, price action on all the charts, all to the upside. Again, we weren't going to hold that. One of these sets we're going to have to give, and obviously the indices came down. All right, there was the uh, 6 yen pretty much chopping out the remainder of the session together. Similar picture on the euro as well. All right, so uh, uptrend, 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 and we're finishing downside again. Uh, YM closing out still above for a gain on the previous session, holding above those highs. So we're going to go ahead and push those higher highs as we lead into tomorrow. All right, taking a look at the long-term charts. YM again holding up here, 27.81. Anything to the downside, I'll look to 2703. Before getting there, watch the 2742. Again, here's your range for overnight. Upside 2820. 
We'll see again 15 minutes prior to the market opening where the most likely uh, current trend is headed and look for levels on both sides. Taking a look at the ES 60 minute, 15 minute and the court chart. 2375 still looking for the upside again do we go 50 up 50 down are we gonna hit that 2300 first or 2400 i'm going for the 2400 just based on the current trend is price action still holding up above the 5144 cloud and looking downside hey if globex decides to pull back a little bit watch the 59 all the way down to 55 and 60 minute chart look to 5152 Wrapping up on the NQ 60 minute, 50 minute and core setup here. Again, nice picture today. Really the NQ picture perfect of the day. Combine that 53, 12, 50 together with the AD line, together with the AD line and together with a beautiful run all the way down on the NQ to on the range charts. Again, it's all about trade management, but post one and a half hours. There you go. Price action downside lifts a little bit. Don't bail here. You got yourself the momentum. Keep your stop and break even. Price action comes back down, swings high, swing high. Price action gets down here. Great place to bail. Why? Just because AD line at negative 70 and an opportunity on the MML charts, 53.12. Hey, I could have got it wrong. We could have still keep coming down, but there was the bounce today. Back upside, major support resistance, about 50% pullback, and that's where we sit. Watch for the NQ upside to 51.52, downside back to 53.12. Uh, on all three charts. All right, as we head into tomorrow, look for the new home sales out at top of the hour, consumer sentiment and the rig count in the PM session. Hey guys, I'm with you. I'd love to see the market come back, close out more gaps to the downside. Again, markets uh, will go in both directions on any trend, whether it's up or down. So you're gonna be ready for both sides on any given day. AM session, if you got the move, ride the move, close it out at the PM, uh, right at the mid-session, PM session, don't give it back in the afternoon. Hey, I don't know where the mark charts are going tomorrow. If anybody does, says they do, it's a 50-50 coin flip. Some get it right, some get it wrong, and then they tweet it out and say, I got it right. And those that got it wrong don't say anything. So I'd prefer not to say anything and just watch the charts that are in front of me as I say each day. So that concludes an insight into the daily trend, technical momentum of the indices and key futures markets. Hey, feel free to stop by tradingfibs.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information. My trading mantra is to keep it simple. Any, mar any, any market, any chart, any time frame will keep you disciplined. You can find me every day on Twitter at tradingfibs. And as always, I leave the crystal ball to the experts. I only watch what's in front of me and on my charts and leave that bias at the door when trading. If you're interested in joining us in our community of like-minded uh, traders seeking those highest probability setups, feel free to email me, david at tradingfibs.com. You may join us on any Thursday or Friday to view the live chart setups as they happen in the trading day. Hey guys, today was a long time coming. It was great to see a pullback, but the fact that the market found a level to bounce off and really almost get back up to that open uh, has me still focused on the uptrend but got to be ready for both directions long terms love it short terms you just got to find a pocket for opportunity each day hey guys have yourselves a blue zone day as we head into week eight day five tomorrow wherever you may be good day good night and good trading to you